Welcome back to Talk of the Town. The annual Players Amateur Golf Tournament, directed by the Heritage Classic Foundation, has changed venues, but it's not moving too far. Joining us today, Adrian Morris, General Manager and Chief Executive Officer of Berkeley Hall Club, tells us more about this strategic move. Adrian, welcome to the show. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So, let's talk a little bit about the history of the Players <laughs> Amateur Golf Tournament. The Players Amateur Golf Tournament was a, uh, a thought that came into basically the mind back in 1999 uh, at the U.S. Amateur Championship in Pebble Beach with, uh, in a discussion with Tom McKnight and, and uh, Duke Delcher, both Bluffton residents who felt they wanted to uh, create something very special uh, in an in a invitational top-end amateur uh, and bring it to Bluffton, South Carolina. Um, and that's really where it began. The first event was in 2000 and uh, we're delighted and excited to host the 2012 event. So it's got stronger over the years and uh, ha has been at Belfair for the last number of years and we're very excited that it's going to uh, come Berkeley to Berkeley Hall. Hall. Yeah, I bet you are excited. Yeah. I think it'll be a wonderful venue. So what does the <coughs> tournament represent to not only the club but to the local community? Well, I think, first of all, from the club side of things, I think it's the members are very excited to host it. It's going to get, give the, the members an opportunity to get to know these young players. They're all college players, uh, a lot of them top amateurs around the world, um, and then the ability to follow them into their future careers. Some of the, the great uh, tour players that have played at the event over the years, uh, you know, names like uh, Bill Haas, uh, Camilo Villegas, other great players like that, and they'll be able to strike up a relationship and watch their careers moving forward. And from a community point of view, uh, I think it's a great opportunity for us at Berkeley Hall to showcase what we have at Berkeley Hall. Uh, one of the, what we believe, one of the greatest golf uh, plantations in the, in the world. Um, well, you have two so beautiful Tom Fazio courses. Exactly. We have... And uh, a huge golf learning center. Absolutely. Uh, you know, our, our learning center has been ranked in one of the top facilities in the, in, in the country by Golf Digest. And uh, as you say, two, two great Tom Fazio golf courses, which will be a great challenge to, to these young players. Um, not only that, but also we have a lot of great fitness program, uh, great instructors, uh, with great areas for them to relax, uh, dining, food and beverage operations. So we, we think we have it all. So I think we have a lot to offer to these great young players. Sure. So we're very, very excited. Why do you think the Heritage Classic <coughs> Foundation uh, selected Berkeley Hall to host the tournament? Well, I think over the years, I think one, one of the things that they were very, very successful over the last 11 years at Belfair, and I felt it was, you know, we, we started to talk about a year ago the possibility of, 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 of moving it to, 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 to Berkeley Hall. Uh, I think we offer, uh, as I said earlier, great Fazio golf. Um, we offer uh, incredible practice facilities uh, and an opportunity for these players to have just a great experience. And I think, you know, it's, it's, we're going to help uh, the developer and, and the Heritage Foundation help this, this tournament to grow and get stronger. Uh, we have great member support. Um, you know, but from the housing and the volunteer side of things, we expect to house over 50 of the players on the property wow. uh, and, their, and their caddies and families, etc. So really, it's, it's really a community affair. So we're, we're looking forward to that. Great. Now, I'm sure there's plenty of preparations that are happening prior to hosting the tournament. So what are some of those? Well, I think that the, the major areas I've mentioned a little earlier were, were the player housing, the coordination of the player housing, when they arrive to, to Savannah or Hilton Head airports and getting them to the to the homes on, on within Berkeley Hall, uh, volunteers how to run the event, um, scoreboards, scoring the logistics, all of those, and then finally the golf course prep. You know we've begun thinking about uh, prepping the golf course for the event. Uh, we like to keep our golf course at a at a pretty high standard anyway to begin with, uh, but we will be in championship level ready. Um, so it takes a little work to get there in sure. preparation. Um, so we're all excited about that. So I think it'll it'll work well. Are you going well. to be using both courses for the tournament? No, we're just using the South Golf Course. Is, uh, is there a reason for that? Well, the South Golf Course is is a, is a Bermuda Greens. Uh, they're at their their top uh, and great playability in the middle of the summertime with warm season grasses. Uh, this is a, the event is in July, so it it, it will be uh, prime, absolutely perfect, and ready for them to play. So that's really why the choice was was there to use the South Course. Some of the players in the RBC Heritage Golf Tournament actually come from the Players Amateur exactly. Golf Tournament. Is that that's, correct? That's correct. There's one, uh, the, the, 
victorious player, the winner of the event, will get an exemption to play in the event. Um, and I think that's a great uh, relationship with, with, with the Heritage Foundation. Um, they're very much involved in the running of this event, uh, particularly on the charitable side of things. Uh, so we're, we're, we're excited that the winner will, will get to play that event and, and uh, I think I know a lot of our members will be following that, that oh, player as, as one of their own I'm at the Heritage. I'm so. certain they were and, and actually I think last year you ha we had somebody local in the Heritage from this tournament. Is, am I Well we have at Berkeley Hall we have uh, we're very excited that one of the residents at Berkeley Hall is, is uh, Kyle Stanley who was, mm -hmm. who, was a, uh, who played in the event in the past. Uh, unfortunately, never won the event, but played in it for several years. But Kyle is is now lives at Berkeley Hall. He's now on the PGA Tour. This is his second year on tour. Uh, he finished number 55 on tour last year and almost won the John Deere Classic. Wow. So we're very excited that he's involved and he played and he's he's got a great following from Berkeley Hall and we're Wonderful. very proud of him. So. Yes, absolutely. So the dates of the tournament? July 9th through 15th, 2012. Okay, and it is going to be open to the public? Most definitely. We're okay. very excited about having the public come see Berkeley Hall, yeah. see what we have to offer, see what goes on behind the gates of Berkeley Hall. And, and if they've and, uh, never been, they will treat. be pleasantly surprised. Absolutely. It's a treat. It's Absolutely. A, it's a fabulous facility. Absolutely. Well, congratulations Thank on the decision, much. and uh, we're excited to see July come and, and, and the tournament be in Berkeley Hall. Exactly. Adrian, thank you so much. You're very welcome. And thank you, and we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.